over the past two to three decades, consumers have gone from chunky desktops to laptops to mobile phones. The advent of the metaverse is the next logical step in this evolution with hardware, connectivity, and standards affecting the enablement of the virtual world. When you use the metaverse applications, you know, not only want to hear the sound, to see the pictures, but you also want to touch something there. And we have to manage the power consumption of those devices. So we still have a lot of hardware technology and the software technology to be overcome in the future. We enjoy a sense of immersion of the metaverse, but for some people, it is difficult to understand the border between the real world and the metaverse world. So what should we do to protect the users of metaverse? We need to discuss these issues with other countries without any borders. It's not just technological assessment that we are at the dial-up stage. Also legally, I believe we are at a dial-up stage. In games, you see buildings destroyed, but we don't consider those things as crimes because the game industries build the context for those online activities. So we need to move forward in our understanding of uh, what activities are regulable at par with uh, uh, offline and what not. There's still a lot to be built and a lot of unknown, but at least for the first time, we think the foundation is there. We will have a variety of devices at various price points to choose from. And as soon as we have an economy of scale, the hardware will become more available. We're starting this conversation early so that we can make sure that this work and its foundations are built on privacy and safety technology that don't yet exist. And the only way we'll get this right is by working collaboratively to answer those questions together.